when you want to select an object, especially from a very complex scene, there are a few ways that you can go about doing it in 3D Coat. You can use the Quick Pick tool, which is in the Adjust section of the tool panel, and that will let you select while that tool is active. You can also hover over any object and hit the H key. Not only will it pick it and highlight it so that you can see definitively what you selected, but it will also bring up that layer to where it's visible in the Vox Tree panel. For example, on large scenes, what you have selected may actually be out of view. So let's select this again by hovering over and hitting the H key, and you'll notice how it's brought up here. Now let's talk about the highlighting. If you go to the geometry menu, you can go to the highlight section and go to highlight settings. You can adjust the color, the duration of the highlight, the frequency, and the amplitude. Now one last thing is you have auto pick. I would suggest turning that off when you are sculpting because it can be a bit annoying at times. It will actually select other objects if you move from one to the other while sculpting. For example, if you have a head layer and a body layer, as you sculpt across them, again, the auto pick may interfere a little bit. So I would turn that off when you're sculpting, but it is good to have on if you are simply trying to make basic transform adjustments. Okay, so that's a quick look at the Quick Pick tool and other selection methods in 3D Coats. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.